The lust for power can gradually erode the foundations of a democratic regime and pave the way for authoritarianism. The insatiable hunger for power is often fueled by selfish ambition, the desire for control, or a deluded belief in one's own irreplaceability. Unfortunately, this is precisely what unfolded in Bangladesh. In a dramatic turn of events, Sheikh Hasina's resignation and flight from Bangladesh in an army helicopter have captured global attention. This breaking news serves as a gripping in-depth exploration of her political journey. Following her resignation, Hasina sought asylum from various countries amid escalating unrest and international scrutiny. 24 hours after ousted Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina fled Dhaka for Delhi's Hindon base, her final destination remains unclear. UK has outrightly rejected her request to grant asylum. While Hasina explores options with the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and countries where her family resides, the US, UK, Finland, and India, this significant development not only underscores the turbulent end of her lengthy tenure, but also raises critical questions about the future of Bangladesh's political landscape. Let's delve into her story, tracing her rise to power, the controversies during her rule, and the implications of her dramatic exit for both her legacy and the nation's democratic trajectory. Legend has it that long ago, where the bustling town of Tungipara now stands, there was nothing but a vast, watery expanse. The land was submerged, a watery kingdom untouched by human life. Then came a time when a group of saints arrived from the distant lands of Persia. Their hearts yearned for solitude, a place away from the world's clamor. Drawn by a divine whisper, perhaps, they settled on this watery plain. Ingenious and resourceful, they constructed simple dwellings to shield themselves from the elements. These homes, with their unique canopied roofs, were called Tong. And so, the place where these saints and their Tong houses stood came to be known as Tungipara, the neighborhood of the Tong houses. Asina was born on 28th of September 1947 in the town of Tungipara in East Bengal. Her father was Bengali nationalist leader. Sheikh Mujib or Rahman and her mother was Begum Fazilatun Nessa Mujib. Her father, a populist of the 20th century, Sheikh Mujib was one of the most charismatic leaders of the Third World in the early 1970s. He was the man behind the country's independence movement. Early days of Sheikh Hasina were marked by profound personal and political upheaval. In 1975, the assassination of her father and most of her family members thrust Hasina and her sister into exile, shaping her political views and commitment to her father's party, the Awami League. During her exile, Hasina's resolve to continue her father's legacy was strengthened, leading to her return to Bangladesh in 1981. Taking the helm of the Awami League, she faced the daunting task of rejuvenating the party and combating the political climate of the time. Her leadership during the 1980s, especially in opposing General Urshade's military rule, earned her respect and recognition as a staunch defender of democracy, laying the foundation for her future political career. Sheikh Hasina's perseverance and strategic leadership culminated in a landmark achievement when the Awami League secured victory in the 1996 general elections. Her initial term as Prime Minister brought substantial progress in various sectors, including economic development, education, and social welfare. Despite these advancements, her tenure was marred by political instability and allegations of corruption. Hasina's efforts to modernize infrastructure, expand educational access, and implement poverty reduction programs were significant milestones of her governance. Her administration's focus on economic reforms and social welfare initiatives aimed to propel Bangladesh towards growth and development. 
However, these accomplishments were often overshadowed by persistent criticisms and controversies, reflecting the challenges of maintaining a balance between effective governance and addressing the complex issues that arose during her time in office. As Sheikh Hasina's rule extended over the years, a notable shift occurred in her leadership style. Initially celebrated for her commitment to democratic principles, Hasina began facing increasing criticism for her increasingly authoritarian tendencies. Her administration was accused of undermining democratic institutions, curbing press freedoms, and suppressing political opposition. The 2008 elections marked a significant turning point, with allegations of election rigging and manipulation clouding the democratic process. Despite these controversies, Hasina's government continued to consolidate power, and opposition leaders such as Khalid Azia faced growing harassment and imprisonment. This shift from democratic ideals to practices perceived as authoritarian raised significant concerns about the erosion of democratic norms and civil liberties in Bangladesh. The growing centralization of power and the suppression of dissent highlighted the complexities and challenges of sustaining democratic governance over an extended period. Reports of extrajudicial killings enforced disappearances, and political repression have significantly tarnished her leadership. Critics argue that her administration's focus on retaining power has led to a blatant disregard for democratic values and human rights. The controversial 2014 and 2018 elections were marked by serious allegations of vote rigging and suppression of opposition voices. These practices have fueled both domestic and international criticism, casting a shadow over Hasina's governance. The allegations and controversies surrounding her administration underscore the broader challenges associated with prolonged political leadership and the impact of such controversies on the democratic fabric of the nation. Sheikh Hasina Wazid's resignation and dramatic exit from Bangladesh were precipitated by escalating public pressure and widespread unrest. Over the years, growing dissatisfaction with her administration's alleged corruption, economic mismanagement, and human rights abuses fueled significant opposition. Mass protests, particularly those led by students and civil society groups, increasingly challenged her leadership. As public discontent reached a peak, Hasina faced intense calls for reform and resignation. The situation further deteriorated with large-scale demonstrations that underscored the depth of the crisis. The final blow came when Hasina, unable to quell the mounting unrest and political pressure, resigned and fled the country via an army helicopter. This resignation marked a crucial turning point in Bangladeshi politics, highlighting the severe challenges she faced in maintaining governance and stability amidst widespread dissent and demands for change. In the wake of Sheikh Hasina's resignation and exit, the immediate focus has shifted to the formation of an interim government. On 6 August 2024, Nobel laureate Dr. Mohammad Yunus has been appointed as the head of Bangladesh's interim government by President Mohammad Shahabuddin. This happened a day after Sheikh Hasina resigned and fled the country. Mohammad Yunus, renowned for his pioneering work in microfinance and social entrepreneurship, is poised to play a significant role in this transitional phase. Yunus, who has been an influential figure in Bangladesh's development sector, is expected to offer his expertise and vision for steering the country towards stability and reform. The current status of his involvement is a subject of great interest and speculation, as he is seen as a potential leader who could address the pressing issues of corruption and governance. However, there are challenges ahead, including the rejection of asylum requests by some countries for Sheikh Hasina, which complicates the situation further. Bangladesh is at a crossroads. The nation is experiencing a period of great change and uncertainty. 
The decisions made by Professor Yunus and the interim government will significantly impact Bangladesh's future trajectory. The hope is that their leadership can steer the country back on a path of progress and prosperity.